Your freshman year is behind you, and now we'll be exploring what you need to do to get ready for college in your sophomore year. Hi, this is Steve from College Express, and today we're going to be talking about taking the PSATs. You're probably wondering what the PSAT actually is. It's a practice or preliminary SAT for sophomores and sometimes juniors to get a feel of what the actual SAT will be like when you take it in your senior year. The PSAT won't count towards any of your college applications, but it is a good hands-on practice for when you take the SAT or the ACT in your senior year. However, if you do end up scoring really high on the PSATs, you can be entered into a chance to win the National Merit Scholarship. We did a video of that on our YouTube channel if you want to take a look at that, where we explain and go into depth on the process of the National Merit Scholarship. That link will be in the description below. The PSAT is a time standardized test that takes about 2 hours and 45 minutes. It consists of three sections, reading, writing and language, and mathematics. Most of those questions will be multiple choice, except in the math section where you have to write out your answers. For those who want to prepare for the PSATs, a lot of high schools actually offer prep courses for them. There is also online material and online prep courses that you could also take if your high school does not offer it. We recommend you take notes of the sections you think you will struggle on so you can focus on those weak points as you study for the real SATs. College Express actually has an SAT word game on our website. It actually helps you prepare for the vocabulary questions in the reading sections. If you like this video, or you learned something from it, make sure to check out our other videos that we've put out for the sophomores and our ultimate college search guide. We also have series for freshmen, juniors, and seniors as well, so make sure to check those out too. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.